Hey guys, Brick Terry here at last with my first video since about February or March of this year sometime. This time we have a 2009 release Lego Architecture set. This is the Seattle Space Needle in Seattle, Washington, Washington State, United States of America. It is recommended ages 10 plus, set number 21003, and with a meager 57 pieces. It, w it is part of the landmark series designed by Adam Reed Tucker. And if you can still find this in the United States, brick set says it is a $20 set. Now first we'll go over the box, which is the smallest of the architecture boxes that, did, that they do, because this is almost the smallest set ever. I think the John Hancock Center is actually smaller. I, I might be mistaken on that. There's the front of it. You can see your Lego logo here. Architecture logo. And on the top it just says where the pieces are manufactured. Yeah. There you go. Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, Czech Republic. And then different languages. And then there's the picture of the box art, again, small one. It says official licensed space needle product, which is interesting. And if we stay, this is the back of the box, by the way. There's some facts about it. You can read those. Let's just kind of pique your interest if you pick up the box in the store or what have you. And here's a nice view of the real space needle. And here is a view of the top, the uh, Sky City, I believe they call it. And while I was reading the instruction booklet, which I'll show you later, I found it just remarkable that this the Sky City thing rotates 360 degrees every 47 minutes with the use of a small one horsepower motor. Yes, one horsepower turns this entire assembly 360 degrees in less than an hour. I mean, I know it's slow, but still, it moves that enormous thing with one horsepower. That just baffles me. I don't even know how much that thing weighs, but it it's made of steel and concrete and glass, so it's got to weigh a lot. And moving on. Here are the dimensions. It says 3.1 inches wide at the base and uh, 8.7 inches, which puts it at somewhere in the middle in terms of height of all the architecture sets released. And here, a nice light to dark image that they like to do on all these. And here on the side is Adam Reed Tucker's signature. Seattle Space Needle, Seattle, Washington, USA, and just another view of the whole thing. Here's the number and the Lego logo. And that brings us back to the front. And nothing but a barcode and logo and set number and words on the bottom. And that's, that about does it for the box. Next we'll go over the quite small instruction booklet. Since this is my 57 piece set, so this will take you... Uh, minutes to build if you go quickly. And it's a 19 page instruction booklet, not all of which are even filled with instructions. The front two, since this is such a small architecture set, it's only this front page for words. That's all you get, then you write onto the building. It goes to the architecture, engineering, and construction with three pictures of the Space Needle on the bottom. And then facts at a glance, what we got here. Location, all that good stuff. You can pause that if you want to read it. And points of interest. And here's where it says right there in that paragraph that's on screen right now below the picture. That's where it says 360 degrees every 47 minutes using only one horsepower motor. Yeah, some skillful and precise craftsmanship. If you ask me, I'll tell you what. That's probably the best looking picture of the Space Needle in the book. I'd say that's real. That's good looking. And then you're right on to the. Uh, what is it, the the 19 step build yeah, see 19 and then you're on to the parts inventory and a word from the artist and all that stuff and on the back of it's just got the Willis Tower Space Needle and Empire State Building all of which I have previously reviewed and they're on my channel and in the front's the same box art that's on the box and pretty much the same thing now we'll get on to the model which is a very respectable looking model for all the 
curves and stuff, things that Lego pieces don't normally do. This thing looks really, really good. I mean, on the bottom you have the printed 1x8 tile that reads Seattle Space Needle. Let me just get that to come up. There you can see it there. And really the base of this thing is the only thing that actually uses like conventional Lego like system bricks. The entire structure of the thing is Technic, like the whole build is Technic, which was necessary to pull off the, uh, com the complex angles and subtle curves of the entire Space Needle. Let's see these, these uh, rope, or not rope things, but these curved bar things, they're not attached with any pieces, they just kind of sit here. They start here and then end here. The only, one of the only irks I have with this set is that the set, you only need three for the set, but I got an extra. And this is the length of them as they come manufactured. Those that are on the set, you have to cut about this much off of them with scissors or pliers or something or other, whatever you have on hand to make them fit. So you have to actually cut your Lego pieces to make them compatible with the design, which is, I mean, in the end, it looks fine, it's a display model, great, but kind of puts a un lego -y touch or hassle into the build process, which is otherwise just fine. And the other really only problem I have is that this these two pieces, these Technic gears, which are supposed to resemble a, a building or windows or observation deck of some sort, they are in a different shade of gray than the rest of the model. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like those are an old gray. A slightly lighter gray, I would say. And the rest of the model, everything else, every other gray piece is in new gray. Excuse me. Which looks way better. I mean, I wouldn't care if if the model was in one shade of gray or the other but it's just that this one part, these two are in a slightly less or, excuse me, slightly different shade of gray which kinda kind of an eyesore but from far away you really can't tell, you really have to get up close to understand. And I'll show you how this thing's connected like that's the base and it's connected with just that, that's the only thing. So if you move this thing around a lot or jerk it around you kind of risk that happening. It kind of just falls over. But for a display model, which is to be displayed and not jerked around or played with, it's perfectly fine. And you go on up to the, you got some dish pieces with a large gear piece in the center to simulate the windows and all that stuff. And this thing doesn't actually turn. You just have to kind of imagine that it turns. And... I mean, it's symmetrical, so you're going to be pretty much looking at the same thing, no matter which angle you look at. And the base is just two 4x8 uh, black plates. That's all that is. And really, that's that's the set. It's architecture set. Small, simple, looks good, cheap. And if if you are fortunate enough to to run to come by this set uh, at some retailer. I would say get it. I mean, it, it's a it's a nice display piece, display model to have, and especially if you have any affiliation with Seattle or Washington Washington State, or you just like the look of the building. I mean, twenty bucks, and you got a nice looking model. It it really is nice. I highly recommend it. Besides the cutting of the of the rods, then if you can get past that, this is a very very good set. Well, that's it for this review. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.